Okay, well, I said there wouldn't be anything dangerous in this town, and, uh, why, why is my thing gone from there? Interesting. Uh, but yeah, there is actually a shocker brute left in this town. I don't think I came all the way down here, but in good news, I have found a lot of flame resistant stuff. I even just now killed a uh, firefighter zombie. Um, we're going to have to deal with this shocker brute though, unfortunately. I think I can crawl in here and hopefully... Right, I didn't get paralyzed by that. Uh, let's steady my shot. Now, that <laughs> this doesn't work like... like I'm pressing the full stop button to steady my shot. And it's just shooting. So I don't really know what's going on with that. Um, well, this is bad news. Yeah, he's uh, not dying as quickly as I would like him to. Yes. Please step into the sparks. Right, I should have enough time to reload now. Good stuff. Uh, can I shoot you? I accidentally shot the window. Okay, there we go. Managed to kill him without too much fuss. Uh, what did I get for my troubles? A targeting system. I believe I already have one. Do I not? Um, I did not. Okay. Or is it? No, it's. I was looking at the active ones. No, I do have one. Oh, that sucks. Right, let's... can I drop some stuff? So I can't see my keyboard with this big pop filter in front of my face. Uh, I shouldn't need to. I can touch type, but playing games is not the same as touch typing. You're hitting different keys. Uh, right, yeah, so there is a few zombies left around here. Might as well kill them. I mean, at this point. Uh, I can kill things pretty easily. Uh, not while I'm pistol whipping them, though, that's silly. And not with chewing gum. Where's my firebrand? Yeah, putting it in and out of the scabbard changes the letter that is assigned to it. Which is rather irritating. Um, I did manage to sleep in the end. I had to chug a load of cough syrup and ambien. Which is not good. But... I did manage to get some sleep. Come on then, Boomer. Oh. I'll have your graham crackers, though. Graham cra crackers. Uh, all right, you guys won't have any... You had some crack. I think that was on the child zombie. Did I just imagine that? Because I can't see it anymore. Oh, no, there it is. Huh. Right, so I think when the uh, dragged vehicle is on top of stuff, you can't pick it up because it's technically on the same tile. Eh, it's a bit weird. Um, yeah, so that's it for this town. So I think what I'll do is drag all this stuff back to my uh, home, cut up the stuff that I don't need, and get out of my way. Uh, oh yeah, there's a subway station here. I wonder if there's anything interesting down there. Apparently there is, sometimes. If you go down there, you find some interesting stuff. Uh, I also grabbed a bunch of raincoats, just for the plastic. You can cut them up and get quite a lot of plastic out of them, so that should be pretty useful. Uh, I don't think I came down the street. Mail carriage yet. It's not fire retardant, unfortunately. I'm sure the, uh, whoa, okay. Crunches and screeches and stuff. Where's that terrific queen? To the south. Oh, it just went right through those buildings. Oh my god. Yeah, I, I gotta sort this out. It's no good at all. Uh, I don't want to lose any of that stuff. Just leave that behind. Ready for battle. Your blade burns for combat. Damn, this guy is fast. Ow. Ow. Okay, that wasn't too hard. Uh, let's turn it 
off. I'm gonna go ahead and grab as much of this stuff as I can. Uh, which is probably all of it, given how much storage I have right now. Yeah, that's cool. Can I cook this plant marrow? I can't even remember. Oh, where'd this swimmer zombie come from? Let's just stab him to death. Um, your stuff is just made of plastic, isn't it? Plastic and cotton, yeah. Uh, for some reason, they don't make swimming clothes out of fire-resistant material. I don't know why. Seems like a lack of foresight to me. Whoa. Was a spider running after them? Uh, me, I guess. <laughs> Goodbye. Uh, let's get the meat out of that. I am kind of hurting for food, actually. Um, uh, what? Yeah, that was weird. It duplicated. Uh, yeah, I made... I took my pickaxe. Am I home yet? Yeah. I took my pickaxe and made a hole in the wall so that I could drag this in and out without going through a patch of radiation. I accidentally made it in the bathroom. Uh, so I had to go through the showers to get in and out. But, you know, that's fine. Alright, tailoring. Uh, dragged vehicle. Okay, uh, let's go sort through all of this stuff. Accidentally put my crack in there. Didn't want to do that. Now oh, I can't find it. There it is. Um, yeah, so I grabbed a bunch of stuff. I got like a another gas mask as well. Why is this meat like doing what it's doing there? It was like shuffling around while I'm trying to move stuff. Alright, uh, so we got some electronics stuff to leave there as well. Bionics and a targeting system, which is probably of absolutely no use. Uh, let's go ahead and put the spoilerable stuff in the fridge. And I'll just grab those crackers and the crack. Actually, crack kind of sucks. It just basically makes you feel like crap in this game. Uh, the charcoal kilns still don't work. Yeah, I think I'm just going to have to debug myself some charcoal, because that sucks. That I can't legitimately make it because of a bug. Um, but right, let's, uh, let's have a look at what I left in there. So I've got two turnout coats. Um, let's drop the tattered one. Where the hell is it? And cut it up. Three Kevlar plates, three Nomex patches. So now... Oh my god, look how damaged my legs are. I just noticed. Uh, now I should be able to repair this. What? You practice your sewing, okay. It's doing it. Right, I've made it fit, and now it's reinforced. Now let's have a look at that. Uh, environmental protection six. Um, highly resistant to heat and flame, it provides excellent protection from injury. It doesn't say how protecting. Like, like, can I just walk through fire with this thing on, or is it just a sort of minor protection? I do not know. But yeah, there's a turnout coat. So now. We have a couple of pairs of turnout trousers as well. Uh, perform some peasant work. Let's rip apart those. Good stuff. And let's get those uh, in my inventory. Right. Uh, let's drop these Kevlar plates and stuff as well. So what else do I have? So flame resistant socks. And some turnout boots as well. Uh, let's get those repaired and fitted and reinforced. And some <laughs> flame resistant socks. That's insane. Right, those are reinforced now. Um, yeah, I'm thinking that I'm probably going to get a whole set here. I've got some fire gauntlets. I'm uh, pretty sure I already had some of those. Well, let's get those repaired. 
I'm actually damaging them more. There we go, those are repaired. And what else? Uh, flame resistant gloves as well as fire gauntlets. So my hands would be very safe. Right. Flame resistant gloves on the floor. Uh, I think I can stack those. Uh, PBA mask as well. Uh, excellent protection from smoke, flame, and other dangers. Okay, can I use my sewing kit on this? I can. Well, that's pretty cool. Come on, reinforce it, please. Oh, I don't have enough Nomax. Oh, okay. Uh, let's grab these fire gauntlets. They are shredded, but hopefully... Yep, there we go. Got some leather from that as well, and please reinforce them. There we go. Right, let's see, have I got anything else? I've got a firefighter helmet, which is just made of steel, and is not flame resistant. Um, that's a shame. I mean, you think steel would be flame resistant, but it just gets really, really hot. So I've got a flame resistant suit. Snug bodysuit, so that's comfortable to wear under clothing and doesn't encumber you. Right, so I don't have enough Nomex. Uh, PBA mask, let's go ahead and cut that up. Uh, whoops, I didn't mean to set fire to my sword. Right, PBA mask, okay, got some plastic as well. Uh, did I not get a filter from that? I thought those things had like special filters in them. I need to go put my stuff in the fridge here. Plant marrows and such. Uh, I'll drop the cornbread for now. Alright, uh, so reinforce the flame resistance suit. Uh, let's see if I can find it. So once I've gone through everything I've got here, which I think that's it now. I think that's all of the flame resistant stuff. Alright, so what have I got? Uh, let's go ahead and move all of the components out of the way. Kevlar plates and Nomex and stuff. Uh, I should put plastic chunks in there. So I've got coat and trousers, a torso and legs are covered. Uh, socks and boots, the feet are covered. Go on with some gloves, so hands are covered, PBA mask covers the eyes and mouth, so they're covered, and a flame resistant suit covers everything else. So everything except for my head would be very flame resistant there. Um, which kind of sucks, but I mean, let's have a look at my... Where's my pickle halber? Oh my god, I'm wearing so many things, it's hard to find them. Environmental protection zero. So let's have a look at that firefighter helmet and see if it just has uh, environmental protection one. So I mean, basically a little bit better environmental protection, but not a lot. Uh, let's see what I can craft then. Wowzers, uh, head. Uh, rebreather mask, no. Noise cancelling headgear is not going to be much use. Survivor fire mask, so I had four Nomax patches. I could make that, which, um, yeah, I think would be much better than the PBA mask. Environmental protection 15, 4 bash, 9 cut protection. Uh, whoops, what about this one? Yeah, so that would be much better. So I think I have. Was that made of Nomex? No, that's a swimming thing. Let's see, tactical gloves are going to be made of Kevlar. I'm sure I've got some fire going once in here. Um, let's just look in here. Yeah, here we go. Firefighter helmet, fire gauntlets, good stuff. 
please give me lots of things for this too. No max patches. That's not enough. Lame. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I don't want to cut anything up that I've reinforced here. But, um... Firefighter helmet's just made of steel. I don't have any flame resistant stuff, so that, that's it as far as my Nomex is concerned. I have two pieces. So if there is anything I can make for my head, let's have a look. Because I've got my mouth and eyes sorted. They're covered by the PVA mask. It would be nice to have a slightly better one. Uh, but yeah, if I want to make more, I have to go get more Nomex, basically. But there doesn't seem to be any such thing as like a fireproof helmet for the rest of my head. I can make a fedora out of straw. This piece of clothing is fancy. If you say so. What about a leather armor helmet? No environmental protection. Uh, it would be nice if you could sort these menus by such things as environmental protection. It would be really great. Uh, no, nope, I've been up and down this a few times. Basically the firefighting helmet is the only one I can see there that has um, whoops, environmental protection. I, I somehow made a steel helmet fit better. <laughs> don't don't question it. Right, so I'm gonna drop that stuff there. Oh it's batteries that those PVA masks use. Oh I see. Um yeah, so uh, that's that I guess that's what we've got. It's pretty good. I would be comfortable walking through fire with these things. But yeah, I just, I wish my head was a little bit better protected. Uh, let's eat some grey ham crackers. Nom 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 nom. Wow. I'm just gonna eat a whole packet, yeah. Force myself to eat. It's Christmas. Um, actually, it's probably not Christmas by the time this video goes out. <clears throat> yes, pay no attention to the man behind the curtain. Uh, okay. So I think, um... Do we have a fire station anywhere close by? There is... No, that's an electronic shop, isn't it? Uh, no, it doesn't look like it. I wonder if these subway stations connect between towns. That'd be pretty awesome, actually. Uh, what about down there? I think it's a yellow F, isn't it? I'm not going all the way up here just to get some Nomex. Screw that. <laughs> I mean, there will be firefighter zombies wandering around anyway. Wow, there's actually loads of hospitals, isn't there? Don't really need them. But yeah, I think... Um, I think next time I might... Uh, it'll prob I'll probably die. But I might don my flame-resistant stuff and go poke around in the strange temple. And take my pickaxe with me. So that I can make new tunnels and stuff. And take all of the drugs and medical supplies and, yeah, everything I could possibly need. I don't even know what's down there, if I'm quite honest. The only time I've been down in one, um, I just died after, like, four steps. Oh, my plants are growing. Oh, that's a nice note to stop on. Uh, so, yeah, lots of crafting this episode, but next time I'll probably die, so that'll be interesting. <laughs>